Current carrying wire is immersed in a downward magnetic field labeled by B as shown in our picture. So here we've got our magnetic field lines and they're pointed down. I'll put them in blue. So their arrow is pointed down. So you can imagine, if you like, that there's a bar magnet with a north pole on the top and a south pole bar magnet on the bottom. And of course the field lines always go from north to south. So you've got these two magnets and in between these two magnets, you've got this current carrying wire carrying a current to the right. And we'll put the wire in pink. So there's my current carrying wire like that. Now your right hand rule, your fingertips represent the magnetic field lines. I always remember that is because you've always got more than one magnetic field line and you've got more than one finger, hopefully. So I've got B field up like that. You point your fingers upwards. Now remember this, I'm showing you the back of the hand. So there's my magnetic field. And then we've got to orientate our thumb in the direction of the current. So your thumb will point in the direction of the current. Now remember, you've got to keep your hand flat. Everything's got to be at right angles. There's a right angle between your thumb and your fingers. Don't make your, uh, you know, in other words, make your thumb stick straight out. Now obviously the way I've drawn it here is not lined up with our picture. We want the palm of our hand, which represents a third vector, to represent the force. In other words, which way will the wire bend? It'll bend in the direction of the force. So think of your palm, your hand is pushing in that direction. Right now I've got it orientated wrong. I've got my magnetic field lines up and my current to the left, which is exactly opposite to what we see in our picture. So we've got to reorientate our hand. So I'll grab a new hand just so we can show you. So it'll look like this. There's my new hand. Now we want our fingertips down. Fingertips are the magnetic field line. So we've got to rotate it so our fingertips are pointed down and make sure that our thumb is pointed in the direction of the current. So we're probably getting close, something like that. So here I've got fingertips down. So magnetic field lines are down. My thumb is pointed straight to the right in the direction of my current. And the palm of my hand, which remember this is the back of the hand, is pushing into the page. So that'll be the direction of my force into the page.